I have to congratulate you. It is so wild to think that the third season of this show is coming. And listen, we're staying away from the spoilers, but L, let me start off with you. There's a lot going on on this third season. So what can you tease us, my friend? Oh gosh, I know. I'm like, this is, there's so many secrets and I'm just like, I want it out. So I don't like, there's too many twists and surprises. Um, I will say, I mean, obviously we start off pretty much from where we left off for season two um, with, with, um, Peter and Catherine, and they, you know, they're in a tough spot. Like, can they come back from from this? But I think in a lot of ways, Catherine kind of got even. I mean, Peter did, you know, bomb and she died out the window. So it's like, hey, like, what do you expect? I think, you know, it's all balancing out, but they are in marriage counseling for it. And there's a marriage witch and, you know, Catherine is still, she's trying to lead the country the best she can. Um, they want to be a, they want to be a happy family together. It's just, can that happen? And also Peter is, um, he's a stay at home dad. So is, he's a great dad, but is he going to be okay with that? Like watching his wife do his old job better than him, you know? Oh yeah, there's seriously a lot to digest here. Well, Nicholas, yeah. it's safe to say when the fans get to watch these episodes, they're gonna gag. There's a lot to digest. But I gotta <laughs> ask you, what was your reaction when you got the script and you saw the play of events that was going to unfold in this third season? I mean, first of all, I just always really love reading these scripts because they're, they're so unexpected and funny. And Tony has such an incredible ability to root them in such emotion between all of these characters and their dy dynamics between them and their relationships. So it's it's always exciting for us to unpack those, but also when we start filming a series, normally we only get the first two scripts. Mm -hmm. And then kind of midway through shooting those first two episodes, we get three and four and then and so on. So you kind of, you're kind of living it, but also experiencing it as you go, which is, which is wonderful because you get little kind of um, little hints and surprises along the way that maybe alter the character or, or educate you further about them and, the, and, and where they're going to go. And then obviously, um, what happens to them? Yeah, there's definitely a lot to unpack here for sure. Well, Elle, I got to circle back to you because this show has obviously been such a hit. But what amazes me is the fact that we're the same age and you seriously are like taking over the world. You're absolutely killing it. So I'm curious if you're manifesting anything. Like what is on your bucket list right now, my friend? <laughs> I do, I do believe in manifestation. I feel there's been some weird things that have happened lately that I'm like, I feel like I manifested this, um, but I I don't know. I mean, I just love, I don't know. I love doing this and I'm happy that I am still doing it after, you know, Nick and I both, we were both like kid actors and started so young and have been in the business so long. So I think to still be surprised by it and still have that passion grow more and more is really special. And, and I mean, that tells you that you're, you're doing the right thing and you're in the right place and in the right career. So I, I very much feel that way. And I just turned 25 and I feel like, I don't know, some new energy has like hit me. Like 25 is all, I love the number five. So like 20 and I've always, I, 25, I'm like, I knew this was gonna be good year and I can just, I can feel that. So I don't know, I'm, I'm like, I'm excited for what's to come. <laughs>